Y'all check out what we have at the shop. Joel just dropped off his crew cab. He got some 26, 28 by 12 reverse. And this time around, because he's a return customer, we've done some work to his truck. We're gonna go ahead and bag it. We're gonna lay it completely on the ground. And for those of you wondering, this is the real Z71. It's a four wheel drive. He already has the axles taken off, so we're not gonna have to worry about that. It'll be just like doing a regular bag job. Y'all stay tuned. Yeah. Simon. So, first things first, we gotta take this bed off. We're also gonna start taking apart the front end. But before I do any of that, since these seats are electric, we gotta get them out so that then I can disconnect the battery and then I can start pulling this dash. I haven't showed you guys how to pull one of these dashes. And I think this is gonna be the video where I do it. This is a pretty new truck. And then let me show you guys the under hood. So you guys can see the before. That's the before. So like on the other trucks, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an aftermarket intake. We're gonna keep the, the battery, jump box, whatever you wanna call that thing on top. And that location, we're gonna put it on top of the tub. Um, we might make a new one of these out of aluminum, just so that it looks a lot cleaner. The fuse box will get moved right there, like all the other ones. I might also make the ones out of metal for that. I haven't made one of those for this one yet. The battery will go behind the bumper. We'll also include a jump post somewhere in here. And on this one, we don't have to mess with the brakes because that one stays the same but everything will get relocated and like i've said before all this has to go this is garbage that's garbage the tank is garbage the actual battery tray is garbage but we'll get it taken apart and we'll show you guys some of that These seats are a little bit different than the older style. On this one, you have a like a hoop, a hoop and loop, a hook and loop, whatever the term is. Um, you see that right there? You lift up the seat and you move it out. So what we gotta do is we gotta move it forward so we can get to these torques right there. And before I even did that, guys, I took off the plastic that's right here pretty common sense you just pull it forward and it'll pop off it's gonna sound like you're breaking them all the time but just don't be worried about it and if you pull it you know the right way it shouldn't break you just slide it all the way forward and then you can get to those right there and the other one should be over there somewhere in this case guys He's already touched this before, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put everything right there for him. That way everything can stay together, except the trash, I don't want the trash. Looks like he had, looks like he had a sound system in there before. Look guys, this is what I was talking about. It's like a, like a hoop. I have no clue what you wanna call it. But that slides in there and then it holds it in. And then don't forget to take off your harness. And you can take this seat out. It's the same thing on the other side. And then we gotta take off the center console and then we can start pulling the, the dash out. 
So just like on the other trucks, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the front end apart, take the wheels off, get the suspension off, so we can do our own thing, you know? So now with the center console taken out, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery, and then we can start taking apart the dash. But before we do that, we're just gonna go ahead and take apart the front end. And I'll show you guys some of that right now. So just like every single other truck, guys, well, GM, you're gonna have your plastic up here. You pry these tabs off, you get them off. And you're gonna have a bunch of 10s, maybe some 13s that you gotta take off and then it'll all unbolt. And it's pretty simple. So I don't know if I've showed you guys how to take these off. They're pretty simple. You just, you know, you stick your screwdriver in there and you pop it off. There is a special tool used for this, but I have no clue where it's at. I let somebody use it and then everybody back. And like I told you before, make sure you keep everything organized. These are all like screws that I have left over because you always will have leftover screws when you do stuff like this. Because for example, this doesn't go back on. That doesn't either. There's bolts that hold some of this stuff together that is no longer gonna be used. So you always will have stuff left over. So don't be scared to see stuff left over if you do happen to take this apart. These trucks, guys, to get the grill off is just four tens up front, up on the top, and you gotta pop it off. You're gonna feel like you're breaking this thing, but you just gotta be very careful and, you know, start from the corner, you know, pull from the corner. Make sure you take these off or you will break that grill. And then you just gotta pop it off and, you know, it's gonna sound like you're breaking it, guys, but, you know, it's part of the, the plastics breaking loose, you know what I mean? Up next, what we're gonna do, we have to take the bumper off. But before that, we have to take this harness off. If you've done these before or any GM stuff, you know how much of a pain these red little tabs can be. What happens is, you know, obviously you drive these trucks. So whenever you drive dirt, water, everything gets in here. And this becomes a pain in the ass to break loose. Like when they're new, you can literally stick your nail in there, pull it back and it'll come off. But in this case, we're gonna have to stick a, a screwdriver in there, a fly head, pry it open, and then we can pull it apart. And then we have to take off the bolts up here, the 15 mils on the side, and it'll come off. With the bumper removed, we can move on to the next thing, which I like to take off the headlights first and then do the fender. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Pretty simple, just a couple of tins, and we'll get it off. After I took the hood off, now I can actually start taking all of this extra stuff off so I can get the fenders off. And then I can keep working my way down so we can get the front suspension off. With all that stuff taken apart, the battery, the coolant tank and the filter, and a couple of brackets that are right here, a bunch of clips. With that taken off, now I can go ahead and take off the fender. There's a couple of bolts up here, up there, and behind the door, and we'll be able to take the whole fender off. Just like I took the passenger side off, I have to take the driver's side off. I need to take all this stuff off as well. I gotta take the fuse box off, this tray, the, uh, the windshield wiper tank, move some harnesses around, move that, that PCM or TCM. I don't know what they're called nowadays on these things. And unbolt it, same like I did the passenger side.
just like that, guys, we'll have it torn apart. Obviously, you guys seen a time lapse. This actually took a little longer than what I expected. Some of these clips have a bunch of dirt. And if you don't believe me, just take a look at that. that was, that's what came out of the fender, so you can only imagine how everything else is. Obviously, this truck was driven, and even after we bag it, it'll be able to be driven everywhere. But with that off, now I can start working on taking the front suspension off. That's also going to be shown in time lapse. But we're going to take both sides off, and then we can start cutting off the original stuff, and then... We'll be done up front for right there. And then we can start working our way into the interior. With the finish it off, I got to take the dash off and everything. And once we have that done, then we can work our way to the back. Blow the back apart. We're going to take everything off. We're going to do a parallel four. We're going to do a fuel cell. Um, we got to do the two-piece drive shaft on it as well. And, yeah, we'll keep it going.